Hello everybody. I thought I'd jump on here and talk about being in lockdown. I am really struggling with not being able to go treasure hunting. Treasure hunting is my thing. I do it once, two, three times a week, maybe more. And I can't do it anyway. So I am at the sheds. I'll introduce myself to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, everybody. It helps me so much because I have things, I have plans for my future and my family's future. I'm Nelly. I live in a bus. I don't want to live in a bus forever. I live in a 40-foot bus with my four grandkids, um, two dogs, a cat, a bird and my husband and funnily enough last night I dreamt that I actually had a rabbit and a guinea pig in my bus too just remembered that <laughs> it was a Vandigam dream I actually dreamt that anyway um probably because Mr 10 wants both but anyway I yeah I'm at my shed at the moment but I thought I'd just jump on it really quickly I hope I'm not sitting in your face like I usually am um to share with you what I've been doing in lockdown okay not only have I been sorting out my shed and trying to get my ebook done which I procrastinated about a lot in the last few days and I should have finished but I got stuck into it last night with a few little hiccups but today I'm planning on getting more done it's not easy when you're not technolo technologically inclined it's not easy but anyway so yesterday no the other day the other night on my uh, Facebook marketplace they had something on there that I thought you know what I quickly asked one of my friends what they think and I We'll see what they say. And the next morning they replied and said, yes, get them. What are they? <laughs> they are these. I have all these <coughs> uh, WWE wrestlers. I've got quite a few of them. Can't even hold them all up. I have that many. And I got them all. Fortunately, they were still there the next day because I, I messaged her and she said, yes, and, I, and she... Okay, because we're 5K lockdown, we can't go any more than 5K. She actually came 5K, 5K her way. I went 5K, well, not even 5K, my way. And I got them all off her and I paid $15 for all of these. Okay, so I've got all these for $15. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of these wrestlemen. Now, when I got them, I then messaged my friend again, sent photos and said, I don't know who they are. Mind you, my grandsons told me later who they were, but I didn't know, except for the ones that are marked like gold dust. He's got his name on it. I did not know who they were, and I knew who John Cena was. That's the only one of the ones I actually knew. One I thought was, and it was, and uh, yeah, I had a feeling it was John Cena. So I was right there, but I didn't know what they were worth either. But he said to me, he said, this little fella here, now I got them all for $15, okay? This little fella here, because, and this is something you guys can look out for, because he has that moving area here he is um a bit more wanted but he is also more wanted because this fella passed away a few years ago so his ones are quite sought after now if they're in a box they're quite sought after i mean the money that goes for these is a lot more this one i've got up he said around 40 bucks i can get it for it so i put 45 because i like people to have a little bit of a room to um make me offers that I'm happy with so I'm probably happy around $40 mark I had someone offer me 20 like I had it on and within five minutes I had someone watching it that's how quick it was and then a little bit after they offered me $20 and I thought no it's too soon for me to take $20 for it okay so yeah this little fella here and I forget his name Bulldog I think British Bulldog his name is but he passed away a few years ago so he's sought after he's a 2010 so I've got some here that are 2003 is the oldest one I have and the others are 2010, 11 and 12 and I am giving gifting one to my mate who helps me out which is he's, get, he's getting this fella which uh, I can't remember his name now but anyway he's getting this fella as a gift but he'll always help me out when I have questions so yeah so he gets that because he collects them so my husband just is baffled by all the people that collect all this sort of toys <laughs> but yeah so these are all my grandson saw this and went ah oh, Mysterio Mysterio he's my favorite so if it doesn't sell he gets it but um yeah so that's what I've done and yesterday afternoon so I, I'm desperately looking to try and find ways of finding treasures that I can resell so I'll get a good bit of money back on that $15 that I've spent anyway so yesterday afternoon I was sitting in the car procrastinating about my I was sitting there going, I've got to do it. I'm so tired. I don't want to do it. And I saw a post because that's what you do when you're tired. You go on a Facebook marketplace to see what's selling. <laughs> so I did that. And some guy had had or someone had advertised all this free stuff on their curb. So 
I think when I got there, I just grabbed it all. I threw it. The fellow was there. He said, I said, I'll just take it all out of your hands and I'll go through it. I said, that's fine. Happy with that. Um, I didn't get a lot. I think some stuff was already taken. The books were already gone. So he had books in the advertisement. They were already gone. So that's fine. But I did get a few to kids toys and stuff, which I think will go okay. And I may show you shortly. But I did that. And then last night, no, yesterday, or was it before? Yeah, it was just actually in the process. I had asked him if the stuff was still there. They didn't know it was actually a lady. She didn't know if it was. She couldn't tell me. So I said, I'll go for a drive. But in that process of waiting for her to reply and me asking the questions, I put this advertisement up, whatever side it's on, um, to see if I can get anything. So I've actually asked people if they're chucking. Because people are doing a lot of clear-outs at the moment. Their homes have got nothing else to do. They're bored stupid. They're clearing out their houses, okay? So I popped that, that up there and asked if anyone was doing it. Don't chuck it in the bin. Let me know. I will come and get it. I'll take it for you. And I will... Um, well, you can see. I, I will buy it if you don't want to sell anything. I had one lady say yes. I'm very. She messaged me and said I'm very interested because I'm we're moving, we're moving to Tasmania, but she's out of my five k zone, and I think she's going to be gone before I can get there. So, but it is working. I've had a lot of people give me thumbs up on the advertisement, so I'm hoping that is a way I can actually get some more stock. I wait for the negative people to come in and say something, but you know what, I'm just going to delete their comments because it's none of their business. And if they haven't got the fortitude to think of other ideas, that's their problem. But what I'm trying to say to you is give it a go. See if doing that, a little advertisement in your area, will help you. Now, I was honest. I said I'm a buyer, seller, collector. They can see it on my card as well. This is my new business cards coming, which I got sent to the wrong address up north. Don't even ask me how I did that. So they're my business cards. You can see there are the ones I'm getting. And it's got something on the back as well, which I'm going to pop into all my parcels that I send to my eBay buyers so they can all come to my pay, my group, and eventually my website when I have it done instead of going through eBay so I don't have to pay eBay fees and they can get their things a bit cheaper. So that's my that's my thought I did, guys. So I thought you might want to try doing that too if you're in a lockdown area. Um, and it could be something that potentially could be a proper business that you can keep going even after lockdown. Because a lot of older people or people that just don't want to have to take it to the op shop or whatever, or the dump or whatever, and they might want to, you know, get rid of their stuff that way. I'll probably end up getting some junk, but that's okay. I can deal with that. I've got a shed now. I can put junk in until I can get rid of it. Um, anyway, so that's it, guys. I think I'm going to possibly take you into the shed in a second and show you what's in there and what I got out of the what I got out of the free box yesterday and what I have actually in my boxes because one box I've got to go through and pick out something the lady asked about. I keep forgetting to do it. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a second. So I thought I'd bring you to the shed, show you the update and where everything is packed and what is in each box. So let's have a look. So currently I have that to go to the op shop and bought empty boxes to get rid of. Right, that's the op shop stuff. My skateboard, which I may get back into one day, who knows. My granddaughter's future dog skateboard. Okay, the surfboards, which are important. My yoga mat, which is destroyed, it's going to get thrown out. My last op shop buy was my leather bean bag, leather boxing bag, which the boys have been doing at home on the ground, one has anyway, and I just don't want it to be outside, so I bought it here. This here is what I have yet to list, okay? So that little bit there, some books in the car and books at home, that's it, and my cassettes. And I've also got something up here, I've got a list as well. So in this, these two boxes here is men's shirts. This is the jackets. I've got too many. I've got to get rid of them before winter's completely gone. All my jeans, I need another box for those or have a sale. And these are my ladies. A vintage box down here, which is starting to get low and two lots of ladies' clothing there. <coughs> and the next box is my shoes and linen, like dinners and stuff like that are in there. <coughs> Excuse me. This box I have yet to go through. Every time, the other day, I was doing my shelving, my books... I'd come across another box and I thought I was finished. The other day I was going, I'll go just check what's in this box. And there was more books. I've got to sort them out. But <clears throat> at least my book show excuse my throat. <clears> throat. This is still the remnant. This is still the leftover from that flu I had. These are this is my shelving. It is so nice. Yesterday I had to come and get some books, and it was just so nice to be able to come in here and yeah, grab it off the shelf. I knew exactly what they were. So the kids' books, three shelves and the games. What games I have. I've got a couple of games. Actually, I've got the polar, the, the Australian. I'll show you a picture um, in the car still um, to list. And there's my non-fiction and there's my videos. There's only videos I have. Um, 
just a quick note too, guys. I, I got a box of these with all my all my VHSs that I bought up in Bundy, and the ones that sold the fastest and the best was the used used um, taped ones, like someone has personally taped all their stuff. That's what sold overnight. So if you ever see used blank, like these blank tapes that have been used, they sell really well, really fast. Okay, so that's all up there. Money still needs a dusting. And over here I have the VHSs I have still not tested yet from Bundaberg. There's three of them to test. I've got Yarno, which hasn't been tested yet. Because yesterday I remember to get, finally get batteries. So I was going to test him today. And then I realised I don't have a screwdriver to undo his screws. <laughs> um, the stockings, I found more stockings. I, I knew I had a few left. I didn't realise I had this many left. And who knew that you could get three-quarter nude, half nude and five nude. I did not know. But they're all from the tip shop that time. Remember I went back and got all the rest of them? That's what's left. So these are done really, really well for me. I've probably made thirty forty dollars over the time of the ones i've sold so you know only selling for eight to ten dollars each so they hardly cost me anything so yeah that's where i am here i've got um cassettes and cds under there i'll probably shift this later but this is what i've got on my storage bags that are empty and my boxes that are empty under there and my table which will probably hopefully come in handy i do not know if i will be able to fit everything in here to be honest um maybe i'll have to have another shed i don't know <laughs> hopefully i'll be in my own home so i don't have to worry i've got the kid all the toys plush toys are in these two boxes plus these two this bag is not listed i'm not going to list it yet till i get rid of some of the other ones um vintage um finishing product you know if you're into vintage sewing i've got a heap of vintage stuff there um i've got my mad balls under here what's a mad ball these are mad balls which I thought would really move fast, but I've still got them months later. I, haven't, I think I haven't sold any, I don't think, or maybe one. Um, in here is just that sort of stuff. And then here is, I don't even remember, oh, my handbags. They're nice and safe. I can get to them easy. And then here is oh, my DVDs, that's right. Because <coughs> my DVDs currently are up there. I'm not going to fit any more. So they're my sealed DVDs in the box. They were in the bus tour yesterday. So this is my shelving. It is so beautiful look at it it's just so beautiful the only thing i noticed the other day when i was putting everything together i think i might have done it twice actually i oh, know this is the one i put upside down it's a little bit of oh was this one this one's upside down here this one i put this little by the time i realized when i was stacking the, the books in i went you know i don't really care it gives me a bit of a lip to <laughs> hold the books up so yeah that's where i am at the moment it's still not perfect, but I can come in and grab stuff without breaking my back anymore. And I have got this to play with before I um, go into total, no, nothing to lose meltdown. Okay, so yesterday when I was at the, when I was at, when I picked up all this stuff from that side of the road, okay, I got this Emmer Emmerich um, wooden tennis racket, and tennis rackets can go well, so I haven't checked his brand out. I've got this baby's sleeping bag and it's got a nice label on it. I can't remember what it was now, but I'll look at it later. But it's got a nice label. That's why I kept it. it just needs, oh, it's been washed, but it's got a lot of fluffy stuff inside. So I'll probably wash it again. And then I've got all this stuff that's in this box here. A couple of things I was actually going to throw out until I looked at the label like this. I didn't look at it properly. And I just checked this morning. It's actually Fisher Price. So that will get sold. Um, I thought this was really cute. It's not old. It's, you know, pretty modern. But I'll check it out anyway. But I thought that was a lovely, lovely vase. Um, little puppet, only because it's cute. I might probably won't get anything. I'll probably bundle some toys up. This, I don't know. I'll probably put it somewhere for some kid to have. It's nothing special. Um, and this one had a, this one here, I can't remember what it had, but it had a brand label on it somewhere too. So that's why I end up keeping that plus it works as well. So, and this. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, like that, needs a bit of a clean, and then the rest of this stuff that's in here, and I've got all these little metal bits, I don't know why i got that, I've got all these little metal bits in here, because it's metal, and collecting metal's good, because you can get it, you can get money for scrap metal, so, and I picked up that, because it was cute, and if I don't sell it, I'll give it to somebody, but yeah, so that's why I've got all that sort of stuff in there, I, I thought this was gorgeous, this little baby's rattle, Anyway, it's 
why I put it in there. Um, yeah, so that's what I got off the side of the road yesterday. The rest of the stuff I got off, it wasn't any good to me. It was an old iron, an old frying pan. That probably the frying pan actually needs to go in the bin, put in the op shop box. I might throw it in the bin before I take it there. And some linen, like white dinners and stuff. That's not my style. So, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my shed. Um, I'm going to, only going to be here for a couple more minutes. I'm going to quickly show some of my vintage stuff on my vintage page that I keep saying I'm going to do and I haven't done yet. Actually, I might even share it here later on. Who knows? It's just vintage clothing and how to sell, tell if it's vintage or not. So I might do that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with how it looks at the moment, but I am having second doubts. I'm having second thoughts, doubts, whether all my stuff will actually fit in here. Probably will because it's got a height, but we won't know until that happens. So, anyway... Take care, guys. Um, happy hunting if you can get out there. Make the most of it. If you can't, try some of my ideas that I just threw at you earlier. Be kind. Keep smiling. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>